And with President Yoon's apology having come just hours ahead of the parliamentary vote, his apology appears to have failed to cool down the heat at the National Assembly. Our Kim jong shil joins us live. Uh, jong shil bring us up to speed on the key developments. Tommy, as you said, uh, President Yoon's uh, earlier remarks and national address has only elevated the debate here at the National Assembly, with both uh, the ruling People Power Party and the main opposition Democratic Party reacting strongly. Now, let's uh, first take a look at Democratic Party Chair Lee Jae-myung, who didn't hold back his criticism of the president's remarks. It's deeply disappointing. The remarks completely failed to meet the public's expectations and only amplify their sense of betrayal and anger. The very existence of President Yoon is the greatest risk to South Korea. He also stated that the only solutions are either President Yoon's uh, immediate resignation or impeachment. Now moving on to the uh, ruling People Power Party, uh, Chair Han dong Hoon has also spoken out, saying that uh, early resignation of President Yoon is unavoidable. Take a listen. It's become impossible for the president to carry out his duties in a normal capacity. We will discuss and carefully consider the best course of action for the nation and its people. So, Tong Shil, we know that the opposition has been pushing hard for impeachment. Now, how will Yoon's address impact the vote, you know, in any way? Mm -hmm. Tommy, the president's address has caused uh, a shift among ruling party lawmakers already uh, who were supporting the impeachment. Initially, only two lawmakers have officially uh, were on the stands, but one has already shifted his mind. Uh, lawmaker Cho kyung tae has uh, reversed his stance of supporting the impeachment and uh, said, said that he uh, now supports uh, Chair Han dong uh, approach to it uh, with a structured resignation plan instead. Uh, now, with his reversal and other potential changes in mind, the opposition faces an uphill battle to secure eight uh, votes needed for the impeachment motion to pass. Uh, the Democratic Party is urging PPP to take a stance. Uh, take a listen to um, Chief uh, Spokesperson Cho seung -ne, who spoke to us earlier right after the president's address. Didn't we see the courage of 18 People Power Party lawmakers who voted to lift martial law last time? That same courage must be shown in this impeachment vote for the sake of South Korea and its people. This is how the People Power Party can fulfill its role. Well, Jung Shil, before I let you go, lastly, we heard about an emergency meeting between Han dong hoon the ruling party's leader, and Prime Minister Han dok -su. What is the focus there? That's correct, Tommy. Uh, the two Hans had an emergency meeting that lasted about 80 minutes uh, right after the address. Now, afterwards, Chair Han arrived back here at the National Assembly and told reporters that the two discussed measures to ensure public's anxiety at the moment and that they also uh, decided to closely communicate on uh, effectively managing the people's livelihoods and the economic situation. Now, that's all I have for now, but we'll have to keep an eye on the fight p.m. vote tonight. Uh, that's all I have for now. Back to you, Dami. A critical moment in South Korean politics. Cheng Xiao, thank you so much for that report.